The Bosworth Longsword by Windless. I've had this sword so far for about nine months. I've used it for practice cutting, test cutting, and strength tests, and so far it's performed quite well. Now to talk about some specifics about this sword. It is a oak shop type 15A, which you can distinguish as that by the long tapered blade with the flattened diamond cross section and the hilt which has enough room to fit three hands on it. Though I don't think any of us have three hands. Though if you did, you can surely use all three of you as this sword. The guard and pommel I'm not specific for the type as those chains vary in the specific sword, but this one has a nice flared out guard with an upswipe and a mushroomed pummel all the way around, which feels quite nice in the hand. The grip is leather wrapped on wood. And it's quite sturdy, it's not loosened at all, and gives you a good hold on the blade. The blade is also quite strong, as you saw in those test cut videos. They could survive being slammed into a 4x4 four four of wood, and not bend in any way. And the edge also held up pretty well for such a beating. And the finish did as well. Though, I know this finish is not the preferred for most people. It does look much better in person than it does in pictures. As it kind of looks like a black marble. Which, if you want a little bit of a fancy flair to your long sword for test cutting, it will do. Now the edge it came with was not the sharpest, and I had to sharpen it as it was too steep, probably somewhere around 45 degrees on both sides, which is extremely steep, even for an axe. But that can be solved by sharpening it. Overall, the sword performs quite well and feels nice in the hand, and is balanced where a thrusting sword should be, closer to the hilt, but not perfectly at the hilt. As you can see here, so it's quite a nice sword, especially for the current price it is going for. It also came with this sheath. It's not a scabbard as it is not wood core. But it's not bad for a sheath, the leather is rather rigid, though outside on a hot day the sheath will bend. So keep it in the shade if you're outside all day. The chaps are also given the same finish, which is nice. They match the sword, and it fits the sword quite well, as I will show you. Though it does leave a little bit of a white residue on the blade, as you can see. But that can be easily wiped off. Now I do have to say, the sheath does have an odd way of mounting. Both of these loop onto your belt and it sits somewhat like this. Which I do not know of any historical examples of that. Most historical examples I've seen either have a bar on here which the belt will wrap around the scabbard and goes through there, so on, or the belt is attached to the scabbard and wrapped around the scabbard. But how it mounts does work. Overall, it's good that for the price of throwing, it's more of just an addition. Now, speak about some specifics about the finish. The finish will help you. I have to maintain it less, though I would still put a coating of oil on it after use. 
what it helps prevent is corrosion while doing cutting, cut practices. As sometimes on a really hot, humid day, touching the blade and leaving it out for a few hours can cause it to start corroding. But this will prevent that, which is nice. So overall, I'm pleased with this. I would recommend this sword for anyone looking for a good beginner test cutting sword.